Hi, my name is Ahmed Duga. I'm a fourth year film student at Capilano University, and I am the director, writer, co-producer, and actor for Ranveer. I'll go right to the beginning. So uh, at the end of the third year, um, for our pitches, we had to, well, not even actually, not even the end, actually, it was more the beginning of third year. Um, we had to have our idea of what our development project for the fourth year was going to be. So then I thought to myself, I'm like, okay, I, I, I want to do something like, I've really been into like the underdog stories and like the rise from nothing to something. So like, you got, what do you got? You got Rocky, Creed, Million Dollar Baby, like all those films um, where you start out with nothing, then you become a someone. So I thought I'll play around uh, a little bit with that idea. So um, uh, I pitched it, I pitched to Claire. Claire was in charge of that um, class. It actually started off as street fighting and it's this underdog street fighter who's just, all he cares about is fighting dirty and stuff like that. And then um, he finds out that his um, his mom got sick and he had this like really important fight that he had to go to. So then he goes and sees his mom and his mom was like, oh no, I, I want you to fight. I've always taught you to be and do what whatever makes you happy, stuff like that, like be who you want to be. So he goes for his um, fight and he ends up losing and then in the process loses his mother. So then um, his trainer, Gershon, um, tells him that you know your mother didn't die for nothing she believed in you you need to believe in yourself like because Renvi has just really gotten like depressed and he's stopped fighting he's gotten just like a really unhealthy lifestyle so Gishan says you know you need to get back in there you need to rematch with this guy so Renvi goes back for a rematch and in the end he wins and um, like it's like a redemption story for himself but uh, that was the original story. So uh, since then, it's um, changed a lot. Like I remember, I began changing it for the summer of 2016, I believe. Yeah. So summer of 2016, I started writing the first draft of the script, and I kind, I kind of thought that making it street fighting, making it in India, that was kind of too difficult, I would say, production-wise for the facility for what we have for the three days of shoot time so um, I, I wrote it as a boxing film actually and I put it as a period period piece for 9-11 um, and, and I had it take place in America rather than India so um, I found that with making it a period piece like that I really wanted to capture the hate towards Indians at that time and I felt like it would be a stronger and more of a stake for the lead character too. And I felt with boxing, it's, I felt it was more doable than street fighting, as so, so I thought at the time. So um, yeah, so then I wrote it as a boxing film. I actually started out with um, uh, taking place after, after this fight and after mom dying. So mom's already passed away. He's, Ranveer's already lost this fight and um, fights actually with a white guy named Colson now so that that was still the same and uh, it starts out with Gershon coming to Ranveer's house and saying oh did you hear the news another another Indian man's been um, a victim of a hate crime so um, Gershon's really just trying to make Ranveer realize that like you know you need to get in the ring make a difference for our people kind of thing and Ranveer still refuses he's like no I've lost everything I've lost mom like I'm just I'm not in the mood, like I'm just, leave me be where I am. And I used a real, real connection because like Gershon leaves him and says, do what you want to do. And with that, I added realism in it because I actually wrote in that uh, Sikh temple was actually um, destroyed um, because um, a couple of uh, white skinned younger guys thought that it was a uh, they mistook it for it being related to Osama bin Laden somehow I'm not too sure how that really worked but they um, they destroyed it so that I, I incorporated that into the story and Ranveer kind of saw that and he's like you know what I need to make a difference now 
uh, I'm sick and tired of this, so I'm going to go back and fight Coulson for a rematch. So I had like I had the usual training montage, all that typical stuff for a boxing film, and um, uh, yeah. And so then it came into the ring, and like it was a boxing match. It was about I think I had it for about three rounds, three rounds originally. So then um, at the third round, Rembeer actually wins again, and it's like with this crowd they're just all they're all rooting for Colson because he's the champ kind of thing and at the end Ramvir is just like he makes a speech and says you know what yes I'm brown skin but that doesn't make me a terrorist like the way people treat each other nowadays it's not good so like if I can change how I feel about you you can change how you feel about me like I kind of incorporated like a bit of the Rocky Four scenario into there, <laughs> to be honest. And um, yeah, in the end, the crowd just went for him, for Ranveer, and Coulson came around and cheered for Ranveer too. And uh, it became like a little hunky-dory story. <laughs> but then um, I felt with how things are going on with the elections and all the Trump winning and stuff like that, I think that I needed to go darker with how things are right now. So um, I completely scrapped boxing. I got rid of it. I felt it was too cinematic, overdone in films. So um, I went back to the original idea of street fighting, actually. So then that led me to um, the where the draft is now. So I spoke with, um, spoke, had many meetings with David Hauka, and he, he kept explaining that, like, um, the story's good, but still it needs to be stronger. It needs to be more more of a flow to it I feel and he wanted he wanted more of the story in the ring between the two fighters and I said okay so I, I put out a couple of drafts of that and I felt like it wasn't working properly so instead I went to go see uh, Abigail Kinch uh, who's amazing she's great and she really helped me structure the story in a way that not only is it shootable in three days but also it makes for a stronger impact for audiences so she helped, she, first she said she disagrees with the whole story in the ring. She says there needs to be a story outside the ring so that audiences understand what the hero's fighting for kind of thing. And um, so um, I talked with Abigail and I said, yeah, I want to show that Ranbir is struggling to get a job because of his skin color. Everyone's just, just torn up between all the Trump stuff and everything like that. So with all like there 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 are um there are good white skinned people but there's also the bad racist trump supporters so i wanted to play around with that with the story with that final moment like with this whole change of becoming this dark person from a light person i found that it relates very well to i'm gonna say a good person stuck in a bubble like let's give it a, let, as an example a bubble um sooner than later sooner or later like you're gonna become messed up because like you can't get out of this bubble it's gonna completely screw you up so sooner or later you just you're gonna become this person who you weren't before so that's how i found that's how i related it to this film like when you're stuck in a society full of negativity sooner or later you're gonna become those negative per people so that's, um, that's the example I um, tend to give when I talk about this film.